Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Tech Life. My name is Julio and thanks for being here. If you are new to the channel, what you're going to find here are videos about my coding bootcamp experience, uh, which I just graduated from. And also I'll start talking about things that I have coming up and uh, my plans for the future and uh, all sorts of things tech related. But right now, uh, what we are concentrating on is coding boot camps. And there's actually a huge wasp walking up the tripod right now. <laughs> Today, what I want to talk to you about is the final project that I worked on. The last project, uh, you have the option of either working by yourself or choosing the group you want to work with. I made the decision to work by myself. The reason was because uh, I had a very specific idea that I wanted to work on. That wasp is right on the camera. It might end up in front of the screen. That would actually kind of be cool. Um, I had a very specific idea that I wanted to work on and it was very, uh, very niche. It was related to law enforcement, which is uh, the career field I'm in right now. And working on the app was going to require a few trips to the police department and it was going to make it difficult for people to have to meet there because we were, were all kind of spread out. It's going to mess up my audio. Okay, welcome back. We have changed location because apparently the bees were very interested in what I was doing. So anyways, <laughs> so let me start over. Um, the reason I chose to work by myself was because I really wanted to do this app, right? I knew that there was a problem that I could try and solve. Um, through the technologies that I had learned how to use at um, my SMU coding bootcamp. I felt it was gonna be a little difficult to try and explain that problem and really understand the problem and, and how cool the app could be if uh, you didn't really live the problem. Essentially what I'm trying to do, what it boils down to is save lives. And I know that's a huge statement, so I'll, I'll explain. My final project is designed to encourage police officers to make stops to get drunk drivers off of the road. And the way it does that is by simplifying the very complex and um, often unfamiliar paperwork that comes with doing um, a DWI. When a police officer makes that type of arrest, it can take them anywhere from four to six and maybe sometimes seven hours to complete that paperwork. And because of that, there is a reluctancy to enforce that law and keep junk drivers off of the road. I guess it's just human to do that because if you are working a very long shift, if you're working a 12 hour shift, the last thing you wanna do is add seven hours of paperwork in the 11th hour. Um, you wanna go home, you're tired, you know, you seven more hours of paperwork is not, it's not what you're looking for. So that's essentially why I decided to go by myself. Now, I kind of told you about the app. Let me tell you about the experience. Um, I think uh, I, I had every range of emotion. I was, I was excited, I was happy, I was upset, I was frustrated. I thought about just joining another group um, early on. It, it, it was quite an experience trying to do all of that project by myself. I learned a lot. Usually what happens in the projects, everybody decides what role they're gonna play. Front end, back end. It's divided up amongst the group, however the group feels, right? But I had nobody to do that with, so I had to do everything. And I actually really enjoyed that because I did get to learn and kind of dive into every single step of the process. Uh, the downside to that was that I was researching and, and learning um, the code I needed, but by the time I moved on, I kind of forgot <laughs> what I had done <laughs> um, at the beginning um, because React is still, is even, even at this point, I'm still very new at React, but I mean, I was even newer then, right? I mean, I, I just learned it um, a week before. I'm still trying to grasp React and then build everything behind that as well. That made it interesting to say the least. However, though, the, the, the pressure and the, um, the, the learning that had to take place was, was very cool. I think it would be beneficial if every student had to do one project by themselves like that, just to really feel what it's like to do the whole thing. I would have enjoyed actually 
seen the differences. So like, I would like to, I would like to do one project by myself. Let's say there was four. So let's say there was four projects. I think that would be cool because I could do the third project the way I did by myself and, you know, suffer <laughs> through everything and learn everything. And then in the fourth project have to be in a group and then just kind of compare and see how much easier it is to actually work in a group, how much more I can specialize in a certain part of, of the app and then also just help around wherever needed. Oh, so one thing that was awesome about being by yourself <laughs> was using GitHub. It was so nice not having to deal with merge conflicts and trying to remember how, how to open up a branch and all this other stuff that goes along with GitHub. I think GitHub is, I mean, I'm just making up this number, but it feels like it's 50% of the problems inside of a group project. And when you get there, trust me, you will see. <laughs> so just being able to just uh, add commitments and push them without any issues, I can't tell you how nice that was. I felt like I could just move on instead of having to resolve those issues and keep working on the app. So that was nice. Let me uh, bring up my app. Uh, the name of the app is Crystal and I can show you what it is uh, and what it does. So again, the point of Crystal is to encourage officers to uh, enforce DWIs by reducing the complexity that is involved inside of uh, all that paperwork. Uh, but let's go into the computer and I will show you what it does. All right guys, so Crystal is live on Heroku. And um, when you, my, my idea behind Crystal was simplicity because I'm trying to reduce, to, I'm trying to already simplify a very convoluted process. I didn't want to add more fluff to, to what the officer is doing, right? So when you get to uh, the landing page, it's very simple. There's just the picture here um, and you can either sign up or log in. If you log in, but you haven't signed up, well, then it's, you can go back to the sign up page. Um, I'm just going to make a fake name called um, Johnny Good Guy. And his name, his email is going to be Good Guy. Oh, apparently, I've used that one. <laughs> Johnny Good Guy at gmail.com. And uh, we're going to use a very simple password. Now, what's going on here is that the password is uh, being hashed uh, by using, I use bcrypt to hash the password. And then when I submit the password, um, it's going to send me to the login page, right? So now I can try and log in as Johnny Good Guy with my password. And when I submit the password, I'm going to get a JSON web token, which will further secure uh, the password. And if those, and if it matches, then I should be able to get logged in right here, right? So now, right here, the officer has the option of choosing which type of DWI they're doing. Um, usually, it's if it's a breath test, they can do the breath test, or if they're going to have to get a blood warrant, they just choose that option right there. I'll kind of walk you real quick through this. Uh, this breaks down the paperwork that the officer needs to do. Um, I know this may not mean much to you guys, but that's okay. Um, it's It organizes and it keeps it in a very clean UI what, what the officer needs and, and how to do it. If he needs a sample, if he or she needs a sample packet they, of what goes in there, they can see the, the paperwork. There's a sample narrative if they need that. And then I further break down the things that go inside of the narrative. Um, so if the officer needs to do a blood warrant, it's a very sim similar layout, uh, except that I've added some more breakdown of what needs to happen at certain points and what paperwork has to go to the hospital with the officer. And then they get a sample packet as well, a more detailed one that shows the additional paperwork as an example, uh, another narrative example, and then again, the breakdown of what goes in their narrative. So what happens with a blood warrant is that the officer has to 
fill out the the blood warrant and it's currently for me it's a nine page document that is scary because one many officers don't know where to even find it uh, they don't know what goes in it um, and you know they don't like to do it <laughs> so what I what I did was that I pulled all of the necessary information out of the warrant and I took out all of the noise and I made it simple to do so that the officer can create the warrant without having to really wonder what goes in it. And when they what they can do is just click right here on create warrant and uh, we'll just make a fake warrant or report number. All of this information obviously is just fake. And then when the officer hits submit, I generate a warrant. And all of the information that the officer needed is already pre-populated. So you can see down here that it has uh, the offender info, more info right here. Um, here's the time that I put in. And then when the officer logs out, they're redirected back to the homepage. So that's uh, a quick overview of, of my final project. Um, it was built, obviously, in React. Let me see, I used, um, I used React, I used React Strap, I used uh, Mongo, Mongoose, um, I used uh, Passport, Bcrypt, JSON Web Token, uh, I used Joy for some validation. What else, what else? Obviously, uh, um, I used Express. Um, Node, of course, um, which goes without saying, and um, I don't know what else I used. <laughs> I used a bunch of other stuff. Um, actually, that's probably about it. So, some things that I would like to incorporate to make this better um, is it would be nice if I could use DocuSign so that this warrant could be signed digitally by a judge instead of having to print it out and sign it. I mean, just a huge waste of paper and it's 2019, I mean, why are we still signing th signing warrants when we can digitally sign them? I mean, that's how you buy homes, so should be should be good enough for a warrant, right? That's something that I'm gonna keep playing with, uh, see if I can incorporate that. And that basically covers the rest of my bootcamp. Um, like I said, weeks 19 and 20 are React, and the last four weeks are um, the final project. And inside the final project, Inside that four week period, you're also trying to update your portfolio, basically getting yourself ready to be in front of recruiters. So uh, that is um, my coding bootcamp experience. It was totally awesome. It was totally worth it. I would do it again. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know. I love the questions you guys always send me, so I appreciate that, and I try and get back to you as soon as I can. So please, if, you, if there's anything you want to ask about the boot camp, if if there's anything you want me to concentrate on in the videos, please let me know, and I will be sure to uh, do that. So I will see you guys at the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.